New in version 15 is the SQLite component database. It is opened by the common icons for component import. You will see the view of the recently used part showing symbol, footprint pattern and 3D view. The list shows further recently used parts. Entering catchword timer to the search line, we get a list of all database elements having the word timer in their name, value, description or else in a property. Therefore, the search results are in green. Green means catchword matches. From this list we could select a part to use it in the schematic either by double click on the line or by using the button import. If this search method is too rough, you might use the parametrical search. On the left you see component groups in grey and below each group matching component types. There are only these two levels, component group and component type. A double click on a component type shows all elements, in our example Schottky diodes. The component type Timer you will find in component group Signals and Clock slash Timer. A click on this line opens the mask of parameters which contains type related specific parameters like voltage, current, capacity, temperature, figures, tolerances and so on. We search for a timer of ST microelectronics in a SMT package. Two parts are matching. The others, in fact, have SMT packages, but they aren't from ST Microelectronics. Using button import, you would get the part into the schematic and layout. Tab component lists allows the administration of an unlimited number of component listings, in which you can add certain parts. The list of the recently used parts we already know. The list of the user components is empty because at this time no parts have been individually drawn by the user. If you would have converted your old libraries to version 15 in tab My Components from before v15, you would see an indication of your old structures, which is just for orientation. Now let's look back to the timers and let's enter some different values just for to see how quick and elegant you can work with the database. The import of a part and its handling in schematic and layout is the same like always. With the database you now can modify parts independently from schematic and layout and thus make them your user components. Later you might let them be listed separately in target 3001.